Hello, and welcome to the Haiku Tutorial. I am Matt Naraki, and I'll be your guide today as we begin to take a look at this unique operating system. Forged by the skilled and dedicated coding geniuses that wish to see the revival of the famed BOS platform. Designed to harness the prowess of multi-core processing, Haiku handles gracefully no matter how many threads are running concurrently. The user interface, with its emphasis on simplicity, enables the user to execute tasks in a quick and effective manner. But don't let this fool you into thinking Haiku is a software for simpletons. Haiku also caters well to power users with its excellent customizability, developer tools, and under the hood access. Well then, enough talk. Let's dive into the OS fundamentals and give you a feel of what makes Haiku so special. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the Haiku desktop looks like when it is fully booted up. Although minimalistic by nature, the interface is designed that way so that it can better serve the user with as little distraction as possible. Its sheer elegance is defined by the BOS user interface designers of yore, and thus further refined by the Haiku team. Notable improvements over the years to the GUI include the use of smooth gradients in the window title bars, fully scalable vector-based graphic icons, and improved support for esoteric screen resolutions, just to name a few. Now, let us familiarize ourselves with the basic layout of the user interface. In the upper right-hand corner, you will notice the desk bar. This is essentially the Haiku equivalent to the Windows Start menu. This also includes the tray, where icons for system functions go, such as the processor and memory meter. The actual list of applications that are currently running situates itself just below the tray. Tracker, as seen in the desk bar, is the application that serves as the equivalent to Explorer.exe on Microsoft Windows. It is the epicenter of the entire Haiku experience, above and under the hood. Also, the desktop contains its complement of basic icons, which can direct the user to various parts of the system or open applications. Now to see the desktop in action for a bit. Prefer your desk bar in a different location? No problem. Haiku allows you to move the desk bar anywhere you please. Haiku has a thread manager, and it's pretty cool, because it even shows you a graphical representation of what each thread is consuming memory-wise, and you can easily kill them with the click of a mouse. A newly added addition to Haiku, Stack and Tile allows you to take two windows and snap them together, simply by holding in the Windows key and dragging the window title bar to the other window in question. Once the titles turn a different color, you let go of the mouse and they link. You can also resize windows in this mode and they will continue to stay together. And now that you have seen the elegantly designed Haiku interface for yourself, let's take a look at the simple and easy to use installer for Haiku. From setting up your hard disk to actual installation, 
you can go from start to finish within mere minutes. Try doing this with any other mainstream OS, I dare ya. The Haiku installation is quite simple, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is to go from start to finish in under a few minutes. Let me go show you. Click continue. When warned about no valid BFS hard disks, just click OK. Now, we're going to need to set up partitions. So click the Set Up Partitions button, select the disk that you wish to install Haiku 2, and now we are going to initialize the disk as a BFS file system. So go to the partition of your choosing and initialize it as BFS. Click Continue. Leave everything as default unless you have a good reason to change it. Click Initialize. And now click Write Changes. It will say this operation was successful. Now close the Drive Setup window. Select the disk that you had just formatted. And then click Begin. After several minutes, the installation will end, and then you reboot your computer into your whole new Haiku installation. See? Haiku is quite literally the easiest operating system to install and get up and running. Now, suppose you were to ask yourself, why Haiku over any other conventional operating system? Certainly, Haiku is still in development and is undergoing constant change and improvement. However, there is still much it has to offer in terms of features and interesting apps to try and play around with. You can even connect to the internet and surf the World Wide Web using Haiku's flagship web browser, WebPositive. Watch and observe the way Haiku handles application threads with ease and flexibility. Working smart and playing hard has never been so good.
<laughs> well, that was exciting. The world of Haiku is brimming with exciting opportunities for personal computing. And best of all, this tutorial was simply the tip of the iceberg. There's still plenty more to explore in the world of Haiku, and you can find links to download the software, as well as a great support community willing to help you along every step of the way. I hope you've enjoyed this production, as well as learned something valuable from it. Thank you for watching. Haiku, simple, yet elegant computing.